Hey there, Nancy Drew Clue Crew! Remember the provenance puzzle that I unlocked in the second video? Can't check that off yet. I still haven't done that puzzle yet. Still have to do that. Yeah... So, I'm going to do that puzzle in this video, at the same time I solve this puzzle. Locked away his access? What is Gregor hiding? Yeah, there's something hidden inside the jewelry display case. So let's head over there now. In order to open the display case, you'll need the coin display key, which you got from the filing cabinet in Melina's office. I need to get seven gems visible on all outside tiles when the box is closed. This puzzle is the same on Amateur Sleuth and Master Sleuth mode. Like Nancy said, you want seven on all the outside edges. So to do that, you want the top row to be six, zero, and four. Just like this. Six, zero, four. Now the top row is perfect. Here on the left, we want two and five. But I have five and two. Oops. <laughs> Uh, let me, uh, let me fix that. Alright, two and five. Perfect. Now here with the other area, we want this, I believe. Six in the bottom, one in the corner, three over there. So we're almost done. The final thing we have to do is move this blank thing down. Not sure why that makes a difference, but apparently it does. So we have the vine tile, and I'll solve that puzzle, but first, that provenance puzzle I've been ignoring for a very, a very, very long time. Let's take a picture of that. And provenance puzzle here on the computer. So the first thing we need is the necklace that I just took a picture of. The necklace is a piece of jewelry. It was received on July 2nd. It was received by Stavros. It's the State Museum of Fine Arts. They own this one. Part of their Golden Age exhibit. And they will take it back in September. All done. Next, we want the Nemean, so we're going to have to get a picture of the lion. I think it's in this area. Thank you for unlocking the display for me. Why are you so interested in them? The tooling marks tell a story about how they're made. For the most part, we still don't understand the full method. Bits and pieces, but that's it. I'd love to see if I can see something, anything to add to that discussion. Coins are interesting. What do you think of Thanos? He's coarse. Maybe that's good for playing Hades. I don't think he acts. I think he was typecast. As what? A monster. Monster. Do you know much about proving provenance? Sure. I have some materials for you. Here. Oh, hey, this is useful, except I'm already solving the puzzle. Oh, well. Thanks for the help anyway, Niobe. Bye-bye. Goodbye. So, Lion. You know, she says that, uh... Good. Thanos was typecast Hello. as the angry guy. Later. Until later. I think... I think Gregor was typecast as the flirty, handsome guy. And then Xenia was typecast as a stressed-out woman, and... Niobe was typecast as that whatever she is. I'm not quite sure what she is. So this is a sculpture. And it was received on June 29th. This is according to the various records that are here in this room. The records are in the office. So Costas owns it. World of Gods and Heroes. Loan ends in November. Done. Final thing is this vase. This vase is a vase. It was received on June 30th. Received by Sophia. 
from the National Museum of Athens, part of their permanent collection, and it returns in August. Got it. So we have a weird thing here. We can't confirm the provenance. There's a weird time gap, and you probably could figure that out by the fact that Sophia got it on a day she wasn't working. Very suspicious and weird and strange and, um, other things. Vine puzzle now. The vine puzzle is all the way in Tartarus. Just up the stairs. I need to match all of the edges. This puzzle is the same in Amateur Sleuth Mode and Master Sleuth Mode. The lower left piece has two white flowers. We have a piece with two red flowers, which goes here, next to the other piece with two red flowers. So now that we have those things in place, let's work on getting all these red flowers where they should go. Okay, perfect. So the bottom area is done. Now let's get the top area. This gives us a key. So the key is for something over here. At the very, very end of the script, Thanos wants to leave a personalized message for our VIPs. Need to make sure they have a key to the poster out front. This is that key. Let's go to the poster. It's just outside the museum. I'd like to take a closer look at the poster. Who exactly is this message for? It's for the VIPs, Nancy. It says right there at the top. Can't you read, Nancy? I guess she can't. Alright, let's see if we can talk to Thanos about his fancy message for the VIPs. Hello. Niobe is afraid of you. <laughs> Niobe's fear is not worth a passing thought. Why not? It has no shape. It's a map without borders. Do you know why Gregor's role keeps expanding? Because Niobe can't act. He seemed uh, upset when I brought it up. Did he? Yeah, I can't quite understand why. I'm sure it's nothing. Hmm. Goodbye. Goodbye. Sounds like Thanos really dislikes Niobe.